Welcome to another video in which we are going to write Python program to compute the power of a number. So guys we can easily find the power of a number by using multiple ways as you can see. The first way is by using the while loop. The second way is by using the POW function that we are going to see with the help of example. And then the third way is by using the for loop. So guys how does this computing of the power of a number works. So for example if let's say the number that is the base number is 3 and the exponent number is 4 then we have to multiply multiply this base number 4 times so the result will be 3 raised to 4 which is equal to 81 which is just the multiplication of this number that is base is equal to 3 by itself 4 number of times. So guys let us check this in the VS code how we can compute the power of a number. So guys over here we are going to define the base that is the number 3 in this case and then we have the exponent that will be equal to 4 again. So we are going to use the same example as we have seen. The result we are going to initialize it as 1. So guys by using the while loop we can easily find what will be the result of the power that is 3 raised to 4 over here. So in the while loop we are going to check whether exponent is not equal equal to 0. So one at a time we are going to decrement the value of exponent and then inside this while loop what we have to do is we need to use the result it is equal to the result multiplied by the number that is base over here. So guys initially what we are doing is this result that is 1 multiplied by 3 it will give us 3 in this case and then it will be assigned to this variable that is result in this case. So 3 raised to 1 it is 3 and then we need to decrease the exponent value so exponent it is equal to exponent minus 1. You can also use the shorthand method that is exponent minus equal to 1. So if we use that what we have to do is we have to provide minus and then followed by equal to and then 1. So guys this is the shorthand method in order to decrement a value the same way we can also use for the multiplication expression as well. So guys next time the exponent value will be 3. So again the result which was 3 will be multiplied by the base number that is 3 which will give us 9 and then the exponent will be 2 again after decrementing the value. So it is not equal to 0. So the result will be 9 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 27 and then next time the exponent value will be 1 and then since it is not equal to 0 again the 27 result will be multiplied by the base number that is 3 which will give us 81 and then the last step is exponent minus 1 which is equal to 0 this time so the control flow sees that the exponent value is 0 this time so it should come out of this while loop now after coming out of this while loop we can simply print the value of the result so over here we say result and then followed by colon and then we can simply provide a result in this case. So the answer is present in the result variable over here. So let me just save this file now and try running this code. So as you can see we are getting the result as 81. Now guys what if we change the numbers over here. Let's say 4 raised to 3. We need to find the result of this which should be equal to 64 this time. So let me just save this file now and try running this code. So as you can see result is equal to 64. So basically you can have any base and exponent numbers over here. The same logic will be applied and the answer will be found out. What will be the result when base is equal to 10 and exponent is equal to 2? Comment in the comment section below. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. Now guys let us move to another way. We can also use the POW function in order to find the power of a number. So let us take the same example over here. When we say base is equal to 3 and power is equal to to 4 we don't have to use the while loop in this case so i'll just remove these lines of code over here and then simply what we can do is we can have the result label in the print function and then we can use pow function as you can see vs code is suggesting us this pow function over here we are going to use this and then it will take two parameters over here the base which is the base variable in this case so we are going to provide the base variable followed by comma and then the exponent variable which is the second parameter being expected by the pow function over here so guys these are the two parameters that are being expected by the pow function let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see result is equal to 81 by using the pow function so instead of implementing our own logic we can also use this built-in method in order to find the power of a number guys let us take another example what will be the 5 raised to 3 expression over here so when base is equal to 5 and exponent is equal to 3 what will be the output let me just save this file now and try running this code so it is equal to 125 that's because 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 and then the result 
cell that is 25 multiplied by 3 it is equal to 125 over here so guys this is another method in order to find the power of a number now guys moving to the last method you can see we can also use the for loop now this is similar to the while loop implementation that we had just seen so consider this as a homework for you so that you can practice on your own and let me know the answer in the comment section below when base is equal to 10 and exponent is equal to 2 then what will be the result of the expression that is 10 raised to 2 let us see whether your answer is correct or not please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to count the number of digits that is present in a number so stay tuned